But living in Western Europe, being Hungarian is something I used to be ashamed of, but now I just don't tell people. <laughs> first of all, it only really gives you two reactions, right? It's like, first one is like, hey, where are you from? And it's like, Hungary. And it's like, ooh. <laughs> That's number one. So you don't want that. And the second one, which is so much worse, by the way, is like, hey, where are you from? Hungary. <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, listen, I understand it's funny and creative and you're making a little joke and small talk. Just understand everybody did it before you. And, and, and to follow that up, uh, not only has everyone done it before you, our economy is really fucked up, so there's a good chance we are hungry. <laughs> you're waiting to be choked. <laughs> Yes. Are you hungry? I might be. <laughs> we're, we're a fun nation to hang around with. You know? <laughs> to tell you something more about us, us, oh, you'll get it. Uh, <laughs> Hungarians are the only nation on the planet who are unhappy to run into each other in foreign countries. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know what I mean? Okay, okay I'll, I'll explain. To, because they're like, I, I can tell from the laughter there's like three Hungarians in the audience and they know what I mean and Giuseppe isn't laughing either. So, I, I think he's hitting like the low point. Like, yeah, it was really funny like the first seven minutes but I need another smoke. <laughs> But that's the thing, like, see, let's say, like, let me give you an example. Two Australian people who don't know each other just recognize each other's accents across the room from wherever they are. And what do they do? They go, oh, you're Australian, oh, you're Australian, and then they get drunk. <laughs> or if it's Spanish people, same story, it's like, hey, a Spain, hey, a Spain. Uh, they want to say Spain, but they can't say the sp, so they go, a Spain, like, it was ass pain. <laughs> It might be a pain in the ass to meet other Spanish people. I don't know. It might just be the top. Of, I don't get it. I don't. I don't want to get into people. But when it's Hungarians, they might be like, "Hey, Hungarians! Fuck! <laughs> don't move. Are you still looking? Don't move. They can't see you if you don't move. Can we pretend like we're other than No, we're Hungarians. We don't speak other languages. Just don't fucking move and we'll go away eventually. Okay? Right? And see, this sounds negative, right? But it's not, because that's how we connect, right? <laughs> it's true, it, it's true. That, that is how we like make a thing. Like I was traveling to Budapest from Vienna on a bus and I noticed the guy collecting tickets and passports was uh, Hungarian from the accent and I was having a good day. So I wanted to tell him in Hungarian, good day, because I don't know why, to be honest. That might've been a stupid <laughs> idea. But uh, anyway, I was like, he was like, Passport, please. And I was like, here you go, and also, good day. In Hungarian. And then he said, I will need your passport in every fucking language, okay? Now move along, move along. <laughs> One of the greatest guys I've ever met. We occasionally still meet and not talk. It's, it's, I love him, I really do. He's just a fantastic person. It's weird, but I, I, I'm living in Vienna now, and it's a really different place like really like the thing i love about vienna is that everything works everything is perfect and everything functions there was a giggle in the back <laughs> are you from austria the point i was about to make is like do you hear the silence that's how we know there's no austrians in the room <laughs> they're gonna be like no it's so that it doesn't work no <laughs> i don't know or maybe he would have gone like that i don't want to get it <laughs> His hands would have been up, okay? That's all I'm saying. His hands would have been up. And... <laughs> yeah, no, this is like, it's everything, like, every, everything, this is two Aust Austrians complaining. Man, I had to wait ten minutes for the bus last week. Man, I had to wait seven and a half minutes today. Man, this country is fucked. <laughs> is it? Is it, though? Is it? Because I live in Vienna, and I lived in the bad district of Vienna, but the thing is, in Vienna, whatever time of the day it is, 
you can go anywhere and it's gonna be perfectly safe. <laughs> Any day of the year, middle of the night, worst part of the world, it, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, you're not Austrian. You would, have, you would have contested that. It's fine. The worst thing that ever happened to me while living in the bad district of Vienna was like a street thug dude came to me and said like, he asked for a cigarette without saying bitte. I don't, I didn't know how to break it. I was pretty offended. I was, I was taken back a bit, like, just like, cigarette. And I was like, nine. And he was like, Entschuldigung. It's Austrian vandalism. And then I reported it to the police. Like, if that, that's how good it is. Like, you, you get, as long as I can freak Austrians out by saying good morning at two o'clock in the afternoon, it works. Like, you should see it. They're just walking down there like, good morning. Idiots. <laughs> you know, since Austria is like being super safe everywhere, I actually had an argument with a friend of mine who's from Brazil, I met in Vienna. And she said like, what's your problem with Budapest and Hungary? And I told her like, listen, I have bad experiences there. Like, like if you go out, like people come to you with a knife and they rob you, they take your phone, they take your wallet. It's a bad experience to have. And she looked back at me and said, I got kidnapped by two guys with Uzis in Sao Paulo. Like, oh. But did they take your phone though? Like, clearly you live to tell the story. I don't know. It's gonna be that bad. It's like, but it is, like, this is the problem, like, Austria at this point to me is so safe that it's dangerous. Because <laughs> when I go back to Budapest and I am getting robbed, I just don't notice it. Because it doesn't occur to me that it's a possibility. It's just like, I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm walking home after a night out with my friends, I'm listening to music, middle of the night in a park of like a bad district, whatever park, and I see two people standing like a hundred meters away. So, I don't give a shit, I'm walking my way, listening to music. Then all of a sudden, one of them starts running at me at full speed. Maybe he needs a cigarette really urgently. Could, could be anything, is all I'm saying. So then he stops in front of me, and he's raising his hand to punch. Still nothing. Um, I'm like, you know, like maybe he's checking his watch in a weird way, right? He like, ran up in front of me, and so like, he was like... Did you know it's past midnight? I don't know. Could be, like, anyway. So he stops with his hand in the air and he looks at me and I think the only reason he stopped is because I gave him this impression that I'm this really amazing street fighter. Because <laughs> the dude just ran up on me and he was about to knock me out and I'm just like, so? I'm listening, yes, what, what, what do you want? And then he looks at me with his hand in the air and said like, what are you doing? And just so you know, that's like a Hungarian thug thing. Like before they rob you, they're going to ask a question because I guess it's unpolite to rob someone without some small talk. I don't know. But you can never answer the question. Like once I accidentally looked at a group of guys and they were like, what are you looking at? And I was like, I'm sorry, nothing. And they were like, what are you not looking at? I was like, what am I not looking at? I don't know, man, that's kind of deep. I wasn't expecting this kind of conversation. Are you a philosopher? Is that why you're doing this? Because you're a philosopher in Budapest? Because, dude, take it. Like, you need it more than I do. Like, just have, have it. It's yours. It's a... But that's not what happened. What happened was he had his hand in the air and he was like, what are you doing? And that's what, like, shit. Oh, that's what you're doing. So I thought, okay, this guy probably still thinks that I'm like this really amazing street fighter, right? So I'm going to use that. And I just looked back at him and said, like, you, I'm... I tried to do some street shit. I, I think at some point he was concerned. He thought I was having a seizure or something. I was like, I was like, then I looked back and I was like, you, I am running. And I took off. Like, like I never did, I just ran off. Like, so after a while, you know, I look back running and I see this guy at the same spot laughing his ass off. You know when you can tell from a distance, from body language, like dude's holding both of his knees, just like that. And then I was so proud, like I stopped, I looked back at him, and I was like, this is how you fucking solve it with comedy.
first of all, there was no robbery. We technically both had a laugh. Uh, there was no violence. There was no weird shit. And I stopped, you know, I looked back at him, I smile, and he fucking starts running at me again. Uh, so I have a new phone, and... Uh, no, I don't, but... I have to be honest with you, some part of me deep inside really respects these guys. You know? No? No? You don't? Is that Stockholm Syndrome? Because I'm a little nervous about it. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna ask you, because you, you kind of fucking bargained for it in the beginning. But do you ever see yourself robbing someone on the street with a knife, day or night, whatever, just, oh yeah, there's a knife, no. No. Fuck no. See, that takes balls. And no offense though, I don't have those kind of balls either. It's just, and I'm so glad you said no. <laughs> I, I did this joke in Poland and the dude looked back at me and said like, I don't, I don't need knife, I have my hands. <laughs> I was like, okay, next question. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know, like, I'd be, if I had to do that, I'd be so fucking nervous, you know? I'd be really, really fucking nervous. I'd just like, imagine running, I'd be messing up my lines. You're like, give me all your money or your wife. Life. Shit. Let me try again. <laughs> give me all your wife. Money. Ah, fuck it. You know what? Have a nice gay. Gay. Shit. Just take my phone and don't tell anybody this happened. Is that, is that an option? Maybe? Can I? Is that? 